Hi, this is Estelle. Um, I am walking in a beautiful redwood forest right now in California. I just got done with the last computer science conference that I was at, which was all about future of technology and all that crazy stuff. But right here in the woods is where I find myself. So I thought I would share with you as a participant in my study, kind of what I'm thinking or what I'm expecting for this first exercise that I'm asking you to do before you come to a workshop. So the goal is to take pictures of things that indicate spiritual support to you. That can be anything. It doesn't matter what you believe, who you believe in. Um, I just wanna see pictures of things that really bring you support from a spiritual or a religious perspective in your life right now, or in the past, at any time really. You should have received a link to a Google document that looks a whole lot like this one. So this one is my example, and I'm going to talk through the instructions to give you a better sense of what we're talking about. So the first step in your photo journal activity is to become mindful of moments when you feel like you want or need spiritual support, and when you feel like you're receiving or giving spiritual support. The second step is to take photos or screenshots of people, places, and things that capture those moments. And just make a note that if you already have photos that you have somewhere stored in your phone or on your computer, you're welcome to use old photos that you already have if you're willing to find them and dig them out. Um, and if you can't take a photo for any particular reason, maybe you're in a hospital setting or maybe you're in a sacred space where you really shouldn't be taking pictures, feel free to just write a note in your journal instead of adding a photo. The next step is to upload the photos onto your computer. And this is actually probably the hardest part. Um, in my example, I already have a folder where all of my photos are uploaded, um, but if you need any help or explanation for how to get your photos from your smartphone onto your computer, please get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to, to help you out with that. So um, after you've uploaded the photos, you can drag and drop the photo files into your personal Google Doc. So that's what, I, what I'm going to demonstrate right now. So all I have to do is click on the folder. I've got all of these pictures right here, and I can just kind of grab all of them at once. Uh, maybe scroll down in the Google Doc into here. Let's make this on a new page. Scroll down in the Google Doc um, where I'm going to drag them. Come over here and literally just drop them into the Google document. And look at that. They all are uploaded now. So this is my photo journal. And um, the next thing that I can do, let's delete this extra page here. Great. The next thing that I want you to do is for each one of the photos, just write a short caption. And what we really need you to do is to describe what we should focus on in the photo or explain the story behind it and then explain why that evokes the concept of spiritual support for you. So I'm going to start with an example for this one. So this is my mom's Caring Bridge site. And if I want to make this fit a little bit better, maybe I can resize it to make it a little smaller. And I happen to have already written my, um, my caption for this one, so I'm just going to paste it in there. And as you can see, what I wrote is that this is my mom's Caring Bridge site. Um, there aren't any new posts since she died, but I sometimes go back to look at it when I want to reflect on her life and death. It helps me feel spiritually supported because it's a memento created by her community of church friends who loved her, and I know they miss her too. So all we really need is one or two sentences here to explain what's going on in the photo and why it evokes the concept of spiritual support for you. So likewise, I would go through, this is a screenshot from my, um, from my yoga application, and I'll go and add captions later, so you can come back and look at this to see what I wrote about um, the pictures that I just uploaded. I hope that you enjoy this activity as much as I have been. Um, it's nice to take a moment to reflect about the things that really matter to us. Um, so, I'll see you soon at the workshop. Bye.